telling me the secret. I did it without you saying to me. No. I like to surprise the cost of each other. Have some children fallen behind? Absolutely. I would be naive to think that that didn't happen. Is it up to the education system to give them the scaffold to build back up again? Absolutely. That's what we have to build on. So I don't believe in saying they've, they've lost out, they've lost out, they've lost out, they've lost out. My mantra is that for a period of time they lost out and it's up to us to give them the tools, give them the toolkit to build themselves back up again. That's the thing that COVID has made me realise that we have to prepare these children for something much bigger than us. Um, and they have to be ready for anything because what it has shown us is that anything can be thrown at us. And it's not what's thrown about, uh, it's not what's thrown at us, it's how we deal with it. Very important because like now like children in the school can use them for like work and like if there's another lockdown maybe they can like take them home if they don't have some at home. Uh, it was very good because in lockdown um, the school had to give um, children laptops because um, they were in need of them because like it was very difficult during the pandemic. Like it just sprang up on us, and like we didn't know what to do. So the best option was to like um, get laptops and give it to other um, people so that they could do our work, their work, so that they could carry on with their education. So in order to solve that digital divide and to change the outcomes, the biggest way we could do that would be to make sure every child in the UK has a device at home and at school for their entire education. And then they're always going to be prepared if there's another pandemic. He was in the ocean, obviously. He was, the whale was in the ocean. What happened? How did he end up in the river? In the river? So, but just like Amanda said before, when we talked about what we know about rivers, I said, okay? So why are rivers important? It's been really tough. We have had families working from home with parents working from home, families who have lost their jobs, people who are on the brink of losing their houses, and children who have suffered bereavements as well throughout this pandemic. And one of the things is that they haven't been in school to have their friends around them and to have that escape. And I think that's what school offers for a number of our children. We did the map and we put some pictures of for me and my missus, very challenging, yeah, difficult homeschooling. So now we really appreciate what school is doing. Great job, how difficult it is to look after the kids. It was very helpful because um, it was sometimes you have to go on your phone sometimes to get the information and um, I mean in the family, although we have, we have a laptop but you're more than one of us so it helped because you know instead of having to share it he had his own so he can you know catch up with work and do his work on time
here at Holy Family, we've, our children are more than a number. It's not about filling spaces. It is very much about knowing those children, knowing what they are, what they stand for, and what they can achieve. Um, and I think if I build that into them, if I build that desire to be great at whatever they do, then, then we will succeed.